Hello again, my name is Andrew and today I'm going to show you how to replace a Minion CD battery pack from an old vacuum cleaner, small vacuum cleaner, rechargeable vacuum cleaner, and this is all. And I'm going to replace the battery, because as you know these batteries after a long time, one or two years, they've got problems, and they, and they discharge very fast. That's why I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, I will use four lithium batteries, 18 650. Okay, and of course we need a BMS board to safely charge and discharge these batteries. They protect them from overcharging, discharging, etc., etc. Now we're going to use 8.4 volts because this motor it needs 8.4 volts. Okay, I'll let the solder run. I will connect it to a parallel, and that it will be done. And connecting the positive to batteries, positive, and this side positive. Then. I'll find the opposite and connect it just like that. Okay. Now, we don't need this cable. I'll cut it. I'll need it a little bit. Take it off. This one's shoulder paste. In the upper corner, you will see how to solder safely these batteries directly with no harm in the cells. Well, let's go again. Now we're going to connect it just like that. Okay, make sure I just cut it too much. Okay, never mind. No problem. Sorry. Just like that. And uh, just do some tape. Now we're going to use some tape here. Just to pop a bit. Over this here. I'm going to cut it. I use a little solar paste. Okay. Now I'm going to use a multimeter to see how it goes with the volts. Here's the multimeter. We need eight point four volts. Okay, this is not a problem because the battery is not fully charged. Perfect. Let's see this. Oh, not even close. This is nice, of course. So that they are dead. Oh. Now we're going to use the BMS board. But first of all, I'm going to show you another here. And this will be the red. Now, let me be on the board. I'm just going to connect it here. Just like that. Okay. Some tape. We have the battery minus and positive. We have the B my board. And we have the power. Sorry. And we have the power minus and plus. We need to put the battery plus here. 
going to cut it. Positive to the positive and the minus to the minus. Okay. And I already connected the battery here. I'm going to connect the minus here. Oh, sorry. And the charging. And here is the motor inside of the vacuum. We have a switch here. I may replace this. And the charging. And the motor. From this switch to use it again, I'll use this and this line to connect and to power these batteries. Now, first of all, I'll okay, with cable, of course, to power the motor. And this is the cable. Okay. And if the motor goes like here, the cable must. Okay. I'll use the same cable. Let's see if it works for now. Of course, we need uh, something to power on the BMS port. And that's why we need some volts to do that. And I'm going to use 11, 12 volts uh, charger. Let's see how it goes. Okay, and just like that, then use this 12 volt charger. Connect it, plug it in. And use this uh, adapter minus positive. And positive with gold. And I'm going to connect here just like that. To start the BMS. That was all. Now, assuming if I connect this, it will work. <coughs> yep. Sorry about that. Okay. It's only working for a little bit. Let's see what goes wrong. Ah, sorry. Okay. Mm. 
giving it power for a little bit. Let's see what happens with that. Here. Just try again. Power. Okay, let's try it directly from the batteries. Well, directly from the batteries doesn't have any problems. But I'm pretty sure it does. Probably because it's uh, trying to take too much amber. Mm. Right. Let's charge it again to enable it. Let's put it in. Oh, now, because the motor is doing too much current, too much arms, I will connect the motor directly from the positive and negative. And uh, the power to the BMS from uh, the charger. Well, because I'm not going to use it for um, too much time, not more than one or two minutes, it's not going to uh, defect the batteries to make a problem to the batteries. That's why I'm going to use it from the positive and negative. The BMS board is only for eight arms, and this is drawing more than eight arms. That's for it can hold the current. Well, let's start. I'm going to use to connect the cable here to the motor. And now I connect the motor, the minus and positive. I connect the switch in one cable, but it goes to the battery, and the other to be here, so it will work like a switch. Connect it on that. And in the end, I'll show you a diagram how it goes everything this. Ah, 
Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. More videos are still coming. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.